Hello and welcome to Lord Fett and Gaming Plays Bard Cell Tree. I am your host Lord Fett, and in today's uh, Bard Cell Tales of the Unknown, we are going to go into the uh, Catacombs Level One. Here's an update of my characters. Uh, Kalar, for instance, has uh, Strength, Con, and uh, Dex 18, and they're all level 11. Fett has the same thing array, going to get Intelligence to uh, um, we call it in three levels, maybe I don't know, 82 crit, which is nice. Now the Bard. Besides Dex and Con is nice. Still working on strength. Well, look like Luck's getting up a little bit up there, so it's all right. Now let's check out Echelon. 90 traps disarm. 79 identification is a little bit lacking. High and shells is pretty decent to good, which is 88. And he has 14 strength, 18 Dex and Con. It's up there in the strength. Now let's go check out our casters. Now all of our casters look like they have their uh, constitution up. And work on their decks so they'll be a lot more faster. So let's go check out the new uh, toys we have gotten today. First is a uh, Elk's Instant Orcs Org spell. It's like a summoning spell. If you have one through six character, it will go in the summon spot. If you're in legacy mode or if you're in a remaster edition only one through six, yeah, then you summon this baby up. Major Levitation is just like a levitation spell, but it will last until it's dispelled or you hit an anti magic panel. So just remember that, folks, about that. Next one is the Magicians. Phase door makes a wall into a door. You go through the wall. You skip some rooms. It does not always work on certain walls. There's certain walls that are that will block that absolutely. So just be careful on how you use it. Uh, next is Yabra's mystical coat of armor. It's like air armor, but it's for the party, and it's instantly lasts indefinitely until it gets dispelled or anti magic panel. Also, both on the uh, unlimited amount of time. If you go in the bar, the uh, Ventures Guild, they're all gone too. So let's get to the uh, catacombs right now. Uh, first up uh, um, with the uh, catacombs is um, Roscoe's is near it, which is the uh, temple we said the password to. So it's pretty nice so for healing and um, stretch a lot more quicker. So since we already did say the uh, magic word, hint, hint. We can automatically go in there anytime we want, so let's go exploring. Mm, welcome to the catacombs. You can see it's like a whole bunch of skulls and a whole bunch of undeads. And for instance, we have a widget that's a new undead. Widgets will uh, hit you with old if they hit you. They're undead, so if you have holy water, which is alright, there's other better options for that. Like I'm going to use shock spear. And let's see here. Imagine if it's still going to. Yeah, he's going to use holy water. Why, um, why everybody else going to attack? But later on, there's a few more uh, spells that will be better to take them out. For instance, Mangor's Mind Blades from the Sorcerer's uh, Spell Pool, and for the Wizard Spell, Repel Undead, which is pretty good. Now, Echelon has a 9% chance to disarm because of modifier. It gets a little bit, there's a little bit of penalty for each time you go in dungeons if you're trying to disarm traps. So later on in the game, I advise Trap Zap. Costs two spell points, but here's the thing: you get through traps with no worries, and you won't lose an arm or a leg. We have new enemies in uh, the catacombs, which is orgs, goblin lords, and statues. Um, no, um, no more basically of mostly of the uh, street stuff. No, all that changed since we entered this dungeon, the first floor. So, every time you enter a new dungeon, newer things come out. Some of it same with the pallet swaps. For instance, the uh, blade masters will look like the uh, mercenaries and uh, swords masters or swordsmen. And sometime later, the uh, statues will look like somebody else you see. And same thing with the orgs. So, keep that in mind if you want to look for pallet swaps or enemies using the same thing. That's what they used to do in the old days is slap a nice uh, drawing of a monster on there and then they'll call it like five different types of monsters for instance uh, wolves, mad dogs and stuff such ooh just got hit with a poison dart trap now traps here will be more lethal I do mean more lethal at this point for instance it'll start look like it's poison if you think it's bad no it'll only get worse later on I actually hit on uh, one of the uh, possession traps by accident and combat started immediately that was not fun, but still, just keep an eye out if you can. If you have a spell that detects traps, yeah, take full advantage of it. 
Let's see if we get into trouble some more. Find the stairs real quick. Okay, another spinner plate. There are blademen, um, another goblin lord, and magicians. Uh, difference between the magicians here and the uh, sewers is they have much more hit points. So they kind of leveled up, which can not be fun if you just if you get too cocky with them. Always take out the casters first, no matter what, or anything that casts like uh, spells that are like AOE damage, like Dragon's Breath and such like that. So start looking for high priority targets. And then have to go uh, save the uh, scraps for last. Yeah, like this goblin lord and bladesman, we are uh, saving for last. So we'll see how uh, things go down. And let's see here, war strike, echelon five point the blademan. And okay, I killed it. I think did a crit hit. And war strike, yeah. Should have had two people double up on that, but oh well. I get this point. This is gonna be a win. Yeah, it's gonna be one uh, battle left. We'll see how this goes down. Yeah, it looks like the mercenaries definitely hired their uh, second cousins, the blademen. And we got a new item, the light wand. It's like a uh, torch spell, which is all right. I'm equip it for now, just show you um, equip items. This is only for uh, casters to equip, so they're only ones could use it. And the thing about the experience here, you notice it's like over a thousand experience and over a thousand gold on most cases. That's right, the catacombs uh, just got better and better, so if you look for money and such, yeah, then do it. And right now, look, we are coming up on the stairs. And we got lucky because we passed a trap that was most likely a spike trap or something. Not a dart throwing trap. So let's get ready to go downstairs right now. Alright, that was quick. We did find the stairs, so I'm going to say that is it for our video. In our next video, I'll go back to level 1, show you all soft spot for a few experiences and drops and such. So this way, um, you all will benefit from this. So this is Lord Fenton signing off. Please uh, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.